So the last couple of weeks have been a bit rubbish, haven't they? We've all been stuck inside trying to occupy ourselves, perhaps with a jigsaw, doing a bit of indoor gardening, and of course, drinking heavily. So I thought I'd invent a new sport. I'm gonna call it indoor skiffing. So I've got my racing top on because all of you know that I just love to race so much. And I'm gonna check the river conditions and yes, we've got white boards between Moldy Lock and Teddington Lock. So we're ready to go. So the next thing to do is peg out. So I've got my peg. I'll put it up on the rack to show that I'm going out skiffing. So here's my skiff. It's a classic skiff made by Stanley and Thomas in Windsor. I'm going to tell you what the different parts are called. This bit that I'm going to sit on is called the thwart. These bits where my blades go are called the tholes. This bit at the back is called the thwack. And these bits down here are called the thwields. I made those words up because they didn't exist before. And over here, to put my feet on, is the stretcher. And of course, like all good stretchers, it is adjustable. In this case, it goes up and down rather than forwards and backwards, but what the hell, it works. Now, of course, to get out skiffing, the other important thing I need are blades. So I'll just pop over to the blade shed and get my blades. And here they are. These little babies, they cost 500 quid each and they're made by Craftsman in Windsor. They're superb items, perfectly designed for skiffing. And so initially, I'm gonna go out with my blades over strings and when I'm ready, I'll put them under strings and get out onto the river. So I'm ready to go now out the river and of course the first thing I've got to do is go under strings. So I'm going to do that. So first on that side and then on that side. So I'm ready to go. I've got my structure adjusted and now I've got to uh, make sure I've got the right grip. So the correct grip is to just have your fingers hooked around the end, your thumb at the end, similarly on that side, and I'm ready to go. So let's be off down the river. So oh, I can only get a very short stroke. It's a bit crap, the skiffs go, but you've got to do what you can. And um, well, I suppose we should have a bit of water noises. So I'll just put on a bit of water noises. See how this thing works? Right, here we go. There we go. Make it a bit more authentic. Don't know if I can sync with this. All right, here we go. And here we go, down the river. Uh, I'm not going the right direction. Anyway, I'm going that way. Off down the Thames. God, this is fun. It's a simulation, but it's just like doing the real thing. I can tell you. Here I go. Oh, right. And now I've got to Ravens 8. So I'm going to go round the island, a bit more on that side than that side. And shit, just move the stretch out of it. And go round. Right, I'm going round Ravens 8. This is a simulation, as I said, and I'm going to come back again. Round Ravens 8. Here we are. Oh, it's lovely. The sky is blue. There's a nice breeze. I'm really enjoying it. Of course, one of the great pleasures of being out on the river is seeing all the wildlife, all the swans and ducks and grebes and all those things swimming around. And you can simulate that as well. Oh, look, there's a pair of swans gracefully swimming down the river. Look at that beautiful white plumage. They're so graceful on the water. Don't you just love it? Of course, on the way back. An outing wouldn't be an outing 
unless we stopped at the Riverside Cafe. Good old ginger bees for a cup of coffee and a piece of cake. So I think we're going to do that next. Right, so I've got to pull in and then go across to the cafe. So here I am at Ginger Bee's Cafe on the riverside, having a nice cup of frothy coffee with my friends. Yes, yes. What? With a carrot? No. And did they get it out again afterwards? Ha! Well, that's a surprise. Yeah. And I've heard that more people in Waitrose get the virus than anybody else. That's because they've all been on skiing holidays to Italy. <laughs> oh, how we laughed. Oh, 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 oh. that is very nice. Right, time for a quick wee. Oh, that's better. Time to get back on the river again. Okay, I'm back in the skiff now and it's time to row back to the skip club, so let's go uh, under strings. Here we are, ready to go, right position, see the position. Okay, here we go. Four. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh, here we are at the skip club. Get out, do it the proper way. Step onto the side, right. I've got to put the uh, blades back in the base shed over here. Now it's time to put the uh, skip away in the skip shed. There we go. Put it on the top rack, I think. Oh, oh, it's really heavy. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's indoor skiffing, a sport that I, Tim Harness, invented and I'm currently the world champion of, and nobody can take that away from me, John Penn Gilly. So, why don't you invent a sport yourself and stick it up on YouTube? Show us what you can do.